Welcome to our video on DIY tanking. We were asked to look at a job uh, where a damp proof had been installed but the rendering and plastering didn't contain a salt inhibitor and as you can see the damp had soaked right through the walls bringing the salt with it as the walls dried out. We got a small breaker uh, and if you look at our breaker video, you breaking concrete video on YouTube, you'll see just how to use a breaker to the best effect. We took all of the damp plaster and render off the walls and were left with the walls with several holes in and lots of large joints. We filled the holes with the sand and cement mix shown and then brushed the walls down to get them as smooth as possible with all the holes and the joints filled. We then used SBR Bond to mix with cement as you'll see the cement keeps getting added to the SBR until we end up with a really nice creamy slurry only mix this a little bit of the time otherwise the cement all sinks to the bottom and makes it very difficult to use clean the tools thoroughly Use a large masonry brush to brush the tanking onto the wall in horizontal lines. Don't brush it out like paint. Get plenty on and make sure you've got a uniform thickness. You'll need to keep whisking the slurry to keep it workable and the cement not sinking to the bottom. And carry on until you've done the first coat on the wall. After two hours, apply the second coat at 90 degrees to the first, in this case obviously vertically, until you've had two uniform coats on the wall. We then mix our render at five sharp sand, one soft sand and one cement. You can see more about rendering in our rendering video. When you're finished, rub it in as the rendering video will show you and you can then skim plaster over the top. And that is how we do DIY tanking. 